Hi, it's Prof. Carol Ben. I'm not here today with Lou, but I'm here today with probably someone who's very near and dear to my heart. Omar is one of the Breast Love Foundation navigators. And I thought we'd do something a little bit different for our YouTube information. We're going to talk about cancer navigation. And for me, having a cancer and going through treatment is so scary. The amount of people I see who don't want to have treatment, but someone who's been through it can inspire people that it's okay that you can get through it to get them out. Okay, so tell us a little bit about how bad is it having chemo? Actually, having chemo, it's not that bad. It's manageable. But then you get the patient, when you walk into the doctor's room, you're scared. You don't know which question to ask. You don't know how to say, I'm experiencing this in terms of side effects. Okay. You know? And you get the patient's confidence and say, I'm, I'm not managing it at all. Okay. Okay. Encouraging them to talk more to the doctors. You teach me something very important. What you teach me is the importance of us as doctors being available and understanding people are scared and they don't know what to ask. So I think, think is it worthwhile to go through a list of questions of important things to ask a doctor? I think it's very important. So what would you say is the most important things to ask a doctor? You, you, you need to walk in into the doctor's room and say, doctor, tell me yeah. what you think about what the gene that I'm going to go through. Okay. It's very important on the patient because when they come to us as the yeah. educators, they ask, when we ask them what did the doctor say, they didn't understand. Okay. But they, they, they're scared. So I think anxiety makes them not ask questions. Okay. So I think that for me, you teach me also something very important. So when I'm explaining to something to someone and I'm explaining it in English, they might not be understanding what I'm saying. That's true. So that's, and then your comment about people are scared, so they come in. When you are scared, you're taking less than 20% of what someone tells you. So it was interesting, I saw a lady on Sunday, and I actually phoned her this morning, and I saw her on Friday, and I said similar things, but she said to me, on Sunday, she picked up, but she obviously hadn't picked it up on Friday. So I think from a doctor point of view, yes. we've got to go over things repeatedly, okay? Have clear defined plans, yes. and make sure there are support people like navigators yes. around yes. to break down all the nuances and also speak to people in their language and understanding their culture. Yes. Even when we talk to them after they have spoken to you, yeah. Sometimes you find that they, they, they just, they hearing us, but they're not listening because they, they've blocked and just had the word cancer. Okay. And it's difficult for them. So the important is, I think all of us block with the word cancer. Yes. And then I think that there's the fear and the misunderstanding of what treatments are. Yes. But you've been through absolutely all the treatments. I had chemo surgery radiation like many years ago. Yes. Here you are, it's committing how lovely you're looking and swimming the jeans. I'm <laughs> saying it's gym. It's gym, yes. Survival exercise. Gym and exercise is important. And managing treatment afterwards? I mean, taking, after the treatment, you you now go into a mode of saying, what did I just go through? And then you get into depression. And then you feel like now people who were supporting you have actually gone now. You start to be alone and realize, hmm, I just want to get some. And I love that because I also think that is such a missing understanding. Yes. When you go into treatment, you go chemo surgery radiation or surgery radiation and this. But you kind of like fighting, you're getting your way through it. And when you come to the end of it, you kind of feel like a bird, you've been chucked out the nest yes. and no one gives you anything going forward yes. and how you're managing it and, and what you need to go forward. Yes. So I think for me, these talks with you, and today is International Women's Day, so we go, okay, are very, very important because what a person listening can take out of this is that it's okay to ask things time and time again. Yes. It is important to insist on navigators because you're fearful don't rush in 
too quick for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. And make sure there's someone to walk with you throughout whatever journey you go. Because if I compare your side of it, say, to Janine's or someone else's, yes. it may be a completely different. different. Okay? It's, it's different. Okay. It is different. And when it comes to now, you are done with the and you are now into boxing. Yeah. Right? You start to be, in fact, we listen to each other more. So we get more information from each other, more than we can actually get information on asking adults. Okay. So now you are into boxing and then you deal with side effects. And I've been telling my patients, those side effects, side effects, they just need you to be very active. Otherwise, it's Interestingly enough, I saw another one of the navigators on the weekend, Nicole, and she was saying exactly the same thing. Exercise. Now, I know I've been in menopause for ever and a day, and probably my family will say I'm a miserable witch. But there's no question that managing the menopausal symptoms around um, with exercise is hugely important. It firstly gets you mobile, so those creaky joints and this, it helps you with the weight control. Tamoxifen doesn't have calories on it. Yes. It does. I know I did a very naughty three day chicken fast. Protein and it didn't work. Mm. It didn't work. Mm. <laughs> Just like one big pop. Okay. But the concept is, is you've got to get yourself mobile to make sure that you can manage the side effects. But you can manage them. You can. Absolutely. You can. I am. There we go. So. What we're going to do is we're going to meet again next Monday, you and I, Perfect. and we're going to come up with some other ways how doctors can learn from navigators, and in this way, make sure patients are managed through their each own personal journey. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.